Introduction It is Diwali time. Vani is lighting candles in front of her house. She has 30 candles. She wants to arrange them in 5 rows. She wants to know the number of candles she must arrange in one row. She performs a quick calculation and decides to arrange 6 candles in every row. In this lesson, you will learn multiplication and division. Multiplication Multiplication is repeated addition. For example, to find the total number of legs of 5 chairs, we'll add 4 5 times because each chair has 4 legs. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 20. In other words, 5 times 4 is 20. We can write it as 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Cross is the sign for multiplication. The first number, 5, is called the multiplier. The second number, 4, is called the multiplicand. The result of multiplication is called product. Properties of multiplication Now let us learn some properties of multiplication. Look at these dots. There are three rows of them. In each row, there are five dots. How do we find out the total number of dots? We add five three times. In other words, we calculate three times five. We can write it as three multiplied by five, which is equal to fifteen. Let us look at different arrangements of the 15 dots. The dots can be arranged in a single row of 15 dots. 1 multiplied by 15 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in 15 rows of 1 dot each. 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in 5 rows of 3 dots each. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 1 multiplied by 15 is equal to 15. 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. These are called multiplication facts. Multiplication table of 2 Multiplication becomes easy once we memorize the multiplication facts. Multiplication facts are contained in multiplication tables. Let us start with a multiplication table of 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 threes are 6. 2 fours are 8. 2 fives are 10. 2 sixes are 12. 2 sevens are 14. 2 eights are 16. 2 nines are 18. 2 tens are 20. Multiplication tables of 3 to 10. Let us now learn the multiplication tables of the numbers 3 to 10. Let us start with the table of 3. Now the table of 4. Table of 5. Tables of 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Multiplication of single digit number. 
one fruit bowl contains six apples. How many apples will thirteen such bowls contain? We must multiply thirteen and six to find the answer. Write thirteen as ten plus three. Multiply ten and six. Then multiply three and six. Sum the results up. Ten multiplied by six is equal to sixty. Three multiplied by six is equal to eighteen. Sixty plus eighteen is equal to seventy-eight. Thirteen bowls will contain seventy-eight fruits. Example. Multiply seventy-five by six. Place the numbers one below another. Multiply five by six. Five sixes are thirty. Place zero below six and three above seven. Multiply seven by six. Seven sixes are forty-two. Add forty-two and three. Write forty-five below seven. The answer is four fifty. Example: Eighteen girls have to be seated in a bus. Two girls can sit in a single seat. How many seats must be there in the bus? Divide the girls into groups of two. There are nine groups. So there must be nine seats in the bus. We can write the above problem as eighteen divided by two is equal to nine. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Multiplication is repeated addition. Multiplicand is the number multiplied. Multiplier is the multiplying number. Product is the result of multiplication. Division is repeated subtraction. Dividend is the number divided. Divisor is the dividing number. Quotient is the result of division.